Okay, so we know that if you have an OH- ion reacting with a hexaqua ion, then the hexaqua ion is going to act as an acid. The OH- will be the base. So it will pull a hydrogen ion off of it, creating the following. H2O4, OH2, and two waters. Since the metal is plus two and hydroxide is minus one, we have two of them, that gives us minus two. Overall, there's going to be no charge, so we have now created an insoluble precipitate. And for plus three, reacting with hydroxide, it was the same principle. The only difference is our formula for the compound is a bit different. Now, how about if it reacts with ammonia? Ammonia is also going to act as a base. That means it will also pull off hydrogen ions. And we're going to get the same product as before. But this time, we're going to get NH4+. And finally, we can balance it by putting 2 here. If you have a plus 3 ion, that will also react with ammonia. And we're going to get the same reaction. Where you're going, but remember, we're going to use 3 ammonia and break down 3 water molecules. Okay, now we're going to look at some example colours that we have to know. Here we have a hexaqua ion of copper 2+. Plus. This is a pale blue solution. When you react it with hydroxide ions, you get the following compound and two water molecules. We can see the copper product is uncharged, and this will form a precipitate. In the case of copper, we're going to form a dark blue precipitate. If I react it with ammonia, I'm going to get the same reaction and the same product, except I'm going to form ammonium instead of water, and of course I'm going to have ammonia instead of hydroxide. Ion 2 plus has a green solution. When you react it with hydroxide, it's going to form a green precipitate. If you react it with ammonia, again it's going to form the same green precipitate. In both scenarios, the green precipitate over time becomes slightly brown. So make sure you remember that characteristic change for this ion compound. Okay, here we have ion 3 plus. This commonly appears as a yellow solution. Reacting with ammonia, it reacts with three hydroxides because it's a three plus, and the product formed is a brown precipitate. It will also react with ammonia in the same way. Finally, aluminium three plus is a colorless solution. When it reacts with hydroxide, it forms a white precipitate. And the same precipitate is formed when it reacts with ammonia. So these are the four main hexaqua ions that we need to know. Remember that they are all acidic, meaning that they will react with hydroxide and ammonia, which are bases. Adding hydroxide or ammonia dropwise to copper produces a blue precipitate. With iron 2 plus, it produces a green precipitate, which eventually goes brown. With iron 3 plus, it produces a brown precipitate. And with aluminium, it produces a white precipitate. The first three precipitates are basic. Aluminium, on the other hand, is amphoteric, meaning it can act as a base or an acid. Now that we have these basic precipitates, if we add hydrogen ions, it turns them back into their original solution. If we add an acid, it will re-dissolve them and turn them back into their original solutions. Alternatively, we could continue going forward. Now notice that we said that these precipitates are all basic, meaning they will not react with any more hydroxide or ammonia. But let's see exactly what happens. So let's start with a green one. If I add excess hydroxide or ammonia, which basically means I've got the precipitate and now I'm adding extra ammonia or hydroxide, nothing will happen. There'll be no change. Because a base will not react further with another base. Similarly, to the iron 3+, plus, we will have no more change. However, with aluminium, we said it was amphoteric, meaning that it can act as a base or an acid. So, if I add base to this, the acidic part will take over, and it will react, forming the following compound. Notice how we broke down another water, so it's gone from three waters to two waters, and from three hydroxides to four hydroxides. Since aluminium is three plus, and we have four hydroxides, that means we're going to get the following. This has a minus charge, so it will re-dissolve as a clay solution. Notice, however, this only happens if you add excess hydroxide. If you add excess ammonia, nothing happens and it stays as a white precipitate. This is something unique to aluminium. Talking about unique, let's go to copper. So with copper, it will react with excess ammonia. 
This time, you form the following compound. Now this one you're just going to have to memorize. But notice, the overall charge is 2+, plus because copper is 2+, plus, water and ammonia have no charge at all. So what does that mean? It means this blue precipitate will re-dissolve, and this time it's going to form a deep blue solution. So for copper, we went from pale blue solution to blue precipitate to deep blue solution. Okay, so we've done acidity, reactions with the hydroxide, and reactions with ammonia. Let's move on to the last one, reactions with carbonate ions. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.